Live from Utah's news leader, Fox 13's QuickCast starts right now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Steinbrecher. Our top story, six Salt Lake police officers are on paid leave tonight after questionable actions with canines over the last four years. The Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office is investigating 19 body camera videos turned over by the department. The videos were flagged as part of an internal audit by Salt Lake Police. This all comes after an officer was charged with a felony after allegedly ordering a dog to bite a man on his knees with his hands up in the air back in April. And if there is a violation of the law, uh, then we will file the appropriate charges. If there is a lawful use of it, we will not. Sam Gill accuses Salt Lake Police of failing to hold officers accountable. He's requested similar videos from seven other agencies. Celebrity Paris Hilton came back to Utah today to hold a rally and march calling for Provo Canyon School to be shut down. Hilton's documentary, This is Paris, outlines the story of her abuses at, at the school as a teen. Today was the first time Hilton returned to the school to stand with others who experienced similar things. Because this is a secret that I've kept and I was ashamed to tell anyone. And it's not my shame, it's not anyone's shame here, it's the shame of the people who work at these places. The hope is to bring awareness to the alleged abuses of Provo Canyon School and others across the country employing those tactics. Rules for students and faculty exposed to COVID-19 have been changed here in Utah to get them back into the classroom sooner. Those who meet specific requirements can begin their track back to in-person instruction after seven days instead of the 14 days as previously laid out by health officials. But they have to go through a few things first, like taking a COVID test and getting a negative result after a week long quarantine. We feel like this is the this is the best way to minimize the impact of quarantine while also ensuring the health of students, teachers and staff who are in schools. We have the full version of the new guidance on our website, fox13now.com. A new Georgetown University study shows a 39% increase in uninsured kids in Utah in the last three years alone. That makes our state's rate the third largest in the nation. The group Voices for Utah Children says part of the issue is families don't know what programs they're eligible for. But there are two free and easy ways to find out. You can call 211 or head online to TakeCareUtah.org. And good evening, I'm meteorologist Dina Friedman. We do have active weather moving in, but not until Sunday. That's this storm system, still pretty far away. Tomorrow, just going to be windy and warm. Temperatures now in the 60s in Salt Lake, 59 in Provo and 73 in St. George. In southern Utah, will still be between 85 and 90 all weekend with lots of sunshine staying around 90 in your seven day forecast. And for the Wasatch Front, the big change comes on Sunday. So wind on Saturday and then with rain moves in on late Saturday night into Sunday morning and it moves out Sunday afternoon and Monday throughout the week. Dry weather temperatures around 70. Thanks, Tina. This month is LGBTQ History Month and several pride celebrations are happening this weekend in the Salt Lake Valley. Salt Lake City leaders raised the pride flag at the city and county building this afternoon. This Sunday, the Utah Pride Center will hold a stripped down version of its normally massive pride parade by doing a road rally instead. It will coincide with National Coming Out Day that recognizes LGBTQ people living authentically as they are. A Clinton man is bringing smiles to families all over northern Utah with a unique display outside his home that's been growing for several months. Kelly Hertel started the display to cheer up his daughter in Kentucky at the beginning of the pandemic back in March. But over the past six months, it's grown to include characters from just about every Disney movie. Kelly is going to have to wash all of the art off starting next week because he says with the colder weather coming, uh, he doesn't want that on the sidewalk. So if you want to visit the display this weekend before it's all gone, I highly suggest it. It's awesome. We will post directions on our website, fox13now.com. And finally tonight, a Davis County couple has welcomed their first daughter into the world. It was an unforgettable experience. Kirk and Mariah Simmons were planning on natural birth for their fourth child at a local birth center. Then last night, Mariah started having several contra contractions in a row, just minutes apart. They quickly headed to South Ogden for the delivery, but the baby wasn't waiting for that. Macy K. Simmons was born along Highway 89, seven pounds, five ounces, healthy and just fine. And that's it. 
Have a good night.